From a menacing off-road beast built to replace the infamous Humvee, to an unmanned mini tank capable of taking out heavily fortified targets and so much more, here are 10 of the most advanced military vehicles in the world. Number 10. Electronic Warfare Tactical Vehicle The Electronic Warfare Tactical Vehicle, or TUS, is a specialized vehicle developed by the Rapid Equipping Force for the Army's Brigade Combat Team. TUS is designed for all-weather and 24-hour use, and its purpose is to provide electronic support and electronic attack capabilities. The system allows commanders to reduce the time it takes from sensor to shooter, giving the enemy more problems to solve. With TUS, Brigade Combat Team Commanders will be able to locate and identify the enemy as well as counter non-lethal effects by disrupting their communication and coordination. TUS is a powerful tool that provides commanders with the ability to gain a tactical advantage over the enemy. Number 9. S-400 Triumph The S-400 Triumph also known as the Growler, is a mobile surface-to-air missile system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s. It is an upgrade to the S-300 family and can destroy targets in the air up to 250 kilometers away. It uses active radar homing to track targets and can hit moving targets with high accuracy. The missile is capable of sharing information with other defense systems like the SA-12, SA-23, and S-300. To sum it up, the S-400 Triumph is a highly advanced and capable surface-to-air missile system that provides a powerful air defense capability. Number 8. Active Denial System The Active Denial System, or ADS, is a non-lethal directed energy weapon developed by the U.S. military for area denial, perimeter security, and crowd control. It has been in development since 1997 and uses millimeter waves to project a beam the size of a person up to 1,000 meters away. It is not a microwave or radioactive weapon and is designed to have the same powerful yet non-lethal effects on all humans, regardless of age, size, or gender. The Active Denial System is a unique and effective non-lethal weapon that provides a range of capabilities for defensive and offensive operations, as well as crowd control. Number 7. RMMV Survivor-R The Survivor-R is a medium-weight, 44-ton armored-wheeled vehicle developed by the Renamadal Man Military Vehicles and Ashelander. It's based on a 340-horsepower Man 4x4 truck chassis and features a separate armored crew compartment from Renamadal Defense. The Survivor R was first shown to the public at the Eurostory 2014 show in Paris and is designed for modern police and security forces. It combines proven components from series production with the latest security technology from Germany's top military systems provider. The Survivor R is powered by a MAN 6.9-liter .9 six-cylinder diesel engine that meets emission standards for Euro 3 or Euro 6 and can be moved by air using a C-130 Hercules transport. Number 6. Polaris MRZR The Polaris MRZR is a light tactical vehicle made by Polaris, a company known for creating the lightest tactical vehicles for the U.S. military. The MRZR is a four-seat vehicle that is currently a pilot program for the 82nd Airborne Division. The MRZR is designed to give paratroopers more freedom once they land and is made for a wide range of missions. It has a 500-pound rear box, auxiliary power, tie-down points for cargo, and seating for up to six people. The MRZR also has tie-downs for airplanes and a roll cage that folds up. Through feedback from operators, the MRZR has been made stronger and more useful for any mission with better sight lines and a longer range. The MRZR is an incredible piece of technology designed to meet the needs of the 82nd Airborne Division. Number 5. Ivico Super AV The Ivico Super AV is a tactical eight-wheeled vehicle made by the Italian company Ivico. It's an amphibious armored personnel carrier that was first shown to the public in 2009. 
The Super AV is designed to provide a high level of safety and protection from small arms fire, artillery shell fragments, landmines, and improvised explosive devices. It also features armor kits that can be added on for additional protection. The vehicle is especially good for operations that take place on land and water, thanks to its water jet propulsion system, which allows it to move at 5 kilometers per hour in the water. Oh, and did I mention? This thing looks totally badass. Number 4. Joint Light Tactical Vehicle The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or JLTV, is made by Oshkosh Corporation as part of a program by the U.S. Military and U.S. Special Operations Command to partly replace the Humvee. The JLTV was designed and built between 2005 and 2015 and is designed to support mobility, reliability, and maintainability within weight limits to ensure tactical transport to and from the battlefield. The JLTV brings the fleet's balance of payload, performance, and protection back to where it needs to be so that people and cargo can move around safely, sustainably, and networked across the entire range of military operations. The JLTV is a versatile and reliable vehicle that offers a high level of mobility and protection for military operations. Number 3. Black Knight The Black Knight is an unmanned ground combat vehicle prototype made by the BAE Systems. It weighs about 12 tons and can be deployed from a C-130, making it easy for military transport aircraft to carry it. The Black Knight was made in 2005 and 2006 as a way to measure the performance of other unmanned vehicles. It's a self-driving vehicle that weighs 9.5 tons and has the same basic frame as the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. It's armed with a 25mm gun on the turret and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The vehicle can be used for missions where a manned vehicle would be too dangerous, such as scouting ahead, getting information, and looking into things. The Black Knight is an unmanned combat vehicle that offers a high level of mobility and protection in dangerous situations. Number 2. Krasuka 4 Electronic Warfare System The Krasuka 4 is a Russian electronic warfare system that is mobile and based on the ground. It is used by the Russian Armed Forces and is manufactured by the KRET company on various wheeled platforms. Its main targets are radio electronics in the air, such as UAVs and radar-guided systems. The Krasuka 4 has been in use since 2014 and is a key part of Russia's strategic electronic warfare deployment. It can interfere with spy satellites, radars on the ground, and AWACS systems in the air. The system works by creating strong interference at basic radar frequencies and other places that send out radio waves. The Krasuka 4 has a range that can interfere with satellites in low Earth orbit and it can damage the radio electronic devices it has aimed at in a way that cannot be repaired. It's pretty surreal the weaponry that is being created these days. Number 1. The Striker The Striker is a group of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles based on the Canadian LAV-3. These vehicles are manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada for the U.S. Army in a plant in London, Ontario. The Striker is designed for versatility with the ability to switch between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive modes. It is intended to make it easier for the Striker Brigade combat team to move around in close quarters and urban areas, while also providing protection in open areas. Striker vehicles have robust armor protection, can sustain speeds of 60 miles per hour, have commonality and self-recovery abilities, and also have a central tire inflation system. The infantry carrier vehicle can carry a nine-person infantry squad and a two-person crew. It also has a remote weapon station with an M2 gun, making it a versatile and powerful vehicle for the U.S. Army. That's all we have for you today, but if you want to see another video just like this, be sure to click on the link on the screen now. With that, Thanks for watching and tune in next time.